Hey guys, so I think even the most ardent MetaZoo fan will think this is a new low. So check out Nick's strength in Pokemon. He does a good job discussing this topic. He was emailed a photo or sent a photo of this picture. And what you are looking at is eight pallets of MetaZoo cards in a dumpster. So the person who is sending this photo, we don't know if they are the ones who put the pallets in. We don't know. It looks like a interested individual opened a few boxes, didn't like what they see, and then throw them on the ground. So to have a pallet like this, you needed a forklift, right? This is a very heavy item. They are all just, um, I mean, it's a very heavy item. And when you talk about sending a picture, this, a, a lot of people are thinking this is from MetaZoo itself. It's from Shaw or whoever's running the current company. I think it might just be from an investor. And a reason I say that is because you look at the background, you look at the location, a lot of people did invest in MetaZoo. They bought a lot of product and even Alpha Investment said that he has a million dollars of product left over. This is probably less than a million dollars of product uh, depending on what the product is. And in terms of investing in MetaZoo, it ended very, very poorly. Um, people lost a lot of money. They were pumped and they were dumped, um, which is exactly Rudy Chan's uh, logo, right? I remember Ask Ketchum Collectibles, who is also a huge meta pumper and number, meta zoo pumper and number. Uh, he was like, oh, he got a Rudy pump and dump card, which is ideal for him, right? It was like the perfect card you could send the guy because he loves that type of stuff. And I remember I, when I was doing live streams, I used to have clips of him. So it was a, two clips I played over and over again. Brian Kibler, Dare to Dream, right, of pulling two Black Lotuses, which never happened, by the way. Now we have confirmation that it's never happened. And then the also the other clip I liked is Rudy Pumped and Dumped Me from Catch Em All Collectibles. When he like made the realization that he, that he got got. Like in real time, he was like, wait a second, I think I got got, guys. By the uh, Rudy 6.9. Like this is a all-time low. I mean, I, I don't think anyone would argue this is a good look for MetaZoo. I don't think anyone would argue this is not a frustrated MetaZoo person. When you have to throw out this much product, at one point in time, these were, I mean, let's, let's say at least $100 a box, right? Is what people were trying to get um, the product at. And now they're just sitting, you're basically saying, this product is so toxic, I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to pay storage for it. The storage fee is more expensive than what I think I can get this product for. And that's really crazy, right? Even dead car games don't do this. Like dead car games do not do this, okay? And this is why I am so shocked by, you know, it's eight pallets of MetaZoo. Who knows how many other pallets of MetaZoo is out there? Like, I, I don't know. You guys don't know. It could be a lot. It could be a lot more of these uh, from the same guy. He could have just, you know, this is as much as he could fill. He couldn't double stack because it was against, you know, he's paying money for people to remove this. And then maybe the next week, he'll, you know, once the trash is removed, he, he will put more MetaZoo in the trash can. Who actually knows how much MetaZoo this guy has? No one. I mean, li it is literally a mother effing dumpster fire. Like, it is a dumpster fire. The definition, I think Rudy, one of his pins is a dumpster fire, right? I don't know, man. It is, if I were a MetaZoo fan, I would be quite disappointed this is how they are treating my game. I, and the reason I would be so disappointed is because it is a shame. It is a shame that people are have felt so negatively about MetaZoo that they have decided that they would rather throw their cards in a trash can than continue collecting the game. Or even opening the product. I mean, just even opening pro product, dead product, is fun looking for chase cards and so I mean I think I would have fun with maybe like half a pallet and they could get repetitive at some point in time but this is where we are right now we're at the point where 
No, Madame Zoo is literally sitting in a dumpster, you know, waiting to be taken away. And, and again, it's not one box, it's not one pallet, it's eight pallets that fit this very elongated dumpster. And the people promoting it, I mean, holy moly, right? Like I said before, um, I have respect. I have respect for one dude in MetaZoo. I've said this even before this video, Nick Strength in Pokemon, because he did it correctly. If you are going to, quote, invest in a speculative asset, what you need to do is you need to break even first. So what Nick did was he sold part of his collection during the height. I think he has, like, one of the biggest sales or the biggest sale for Mothman, PSA 10 or something like that. And then he gets to enjoy the hobby. A lot of people didn't do that. They went all in because they were told to do so. And they, and you know, and again, who is telling to do so? Is it the guy with the Patreon selling eight, the $200 of kits? Yeah. It's the dude Argos Anonymous with his cafe. It's the dude on whatnot called Bailey with all these promos. Yeah. I mean, I mean, think about it for a moment in time. They're Gucci, right? Because they, they sold. Um, and respect to uh, Nick, because I think he's only sold via eBay. And this is a disaster, guys. This is a disaster. As someone who loves dead card games, I've never seen dead. I, I, I don't see Inuyasha TCG here. They sell it on sale, yeah. And David Adams might have a lot of it. And, like, you can go on eBay right now. They're selling for, like, $10 a pack. Seriously. These things, I do think, have value long term. But the question is, can you hold it? Like, if you're going to pay storage on this, I, I probably would take a flyer on it. Like, let's say storage costs $200 a month to store all these. And it might take two years, right? Or, you know, and that, that's a lot of money. That's, that's not a small amount of money, right? It's uh, $5,000, but you're talking about eight pallets of booster boxes here. It's worth the risk. I mean, yeah, just take a flyer on it. I think a lot of people, even storage aside, would definitely take a f few free boxes or even pay you know, $10 shipping and get the box for free. Um, or you could throw on eBay. To throw it in a dumpster is really probably because, and that's why I think maybe there's some emotional attachment to it. And this is like an alpha investment Timmy or some scenario because otherwise you don't throw in a dumpster. And I don't see why MetaZoo would throw in a dumpster Unless, of course, it was going bankrupt, right? And then, but even then, they have to, the lawyers will figure out what assets they have and then divide the assets. So I, they're not even allowed to throw in. Very interesting. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that, like, I would be a, you know, I, I don't have room for eight pallets, but I would definitely take half a pallet. And just open in the channel. Maybe people watch it and uh, they buy it into it, and that helps the ecosystem. But holy moly, like this is pretty, pretty bad. It's a bad look. I don't think anyone can say. And I'm almost certain that this is real. And the reason I think it's real, it's just so hard work to put th this many pallets in and a forklift, and then you would have to take it out again. And then why are those two boxes on the bottom being damaged? Like, yikes. This is a new low.